Hello, I'm Cindy with Nomadic Snowbirds. My husband just started this uh, YouTube channel and hence everything I do is getting videotaped. Today we got a new air fryer from Walmart and I'm going to make a pizza out of a um, Mission Zero sun-dried tomato basil tortilla. I'm doing low carb and um, so I'm going to try this recipe. This is the first recipe I've done, so we'll see what happens. I mean, the instructions are to put your tortilla in the air fryer. First step is to put the tortilla in the air fryer. I'm going to use the ragu pizza sauce. It's pretty low carb if you only use a little bit. And it does say don't overdo it. So I'm going to spread my sauce. Put that over here. And then I just cut up some spicy Italian dry salami and I'm going to place that on top. Instructions say put your cheese on top because the um, circulating air can cause your cheese to blow off. I don't get that, but I'm going to try it the way they said. <laughs> and here we go. Put some mozzarella. And I like garlic, so I'm going to sprinkle some garlic. And then we just discovered this everything Italian seasoning. I'm going to try that on it because this stuff is good, good. Okay, so here we go. You pop it in, and it's supposed to cook it for three minutes. So I'm going to go three minutes beyond the time so it has time to preheat. Put it on the highest temperature I have, 400, and I'm going to start it at six minutes. It's recommended that you check it every minute uh, until you see how this air fryer is going to work on your recipes. So there we go. Well, I went the entire six minutes checking it periodically. I like pizza um, really crunchy. Let me grab this. So I did the whole six minutes. We'll see how it comes out. I started with just a few ingredients because um, I didn't want to waste them if I didn't like it. I like the looks of this little pizza. I'm going to cut it. Unfortunately, I have to wait a little bit to eat because it's hot. I've burned my mouth plenty on pizza kind of a little bit juicy. Might have to work with this a little bit. Eh, maybe I should let it cool before I cut it. <laughs> yeah, I think I might need to let it cool before I cut it and let you know how it is. <laughs> okay, I let it cool as long as I could stand and it was delicious. Um, I'm going to have to keep working with this recipe, adding different ingredients and um, be sure to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. Thanks a lot.